really two kind of angles or categories by which one wants to address the subject of cash on hand, what's the right amount of liquidity one needs to maintain, not only during a crisis, but at any time. And the first is sort of a financial planning-oriented question, what one's savings reserve might be, sleep at night money that is there to sort of get them through a difficult period, extra cash on hand should some kind of spending need come up, things like that. That's going to vary in each individual case. There's outside income sources that are different person to person, and there's also different sort of emotional uh, acceptabilities that different people may have in, in their circumstances. So we want to evaluate cash on hand reserves on a case by case basis from a planning standpoint. But the second category is sort of in the investment domain. What is the right amount of dry powder that one may want to have on hand to take advantage of market dislocations and investment distress periods that come about. Generally, when everything's going well in the market, people don't want anything in cash because the more money they have working, the better they return. But when markets turn south, as we've obviously seen in this period, people wish they had more cash on hand. The reality is that dry powder cash can be used not just defensively, but can be used offensively. And of course, most people realize this after it's too late, but defining in your own investment policy what you want to have to take advantage of market dislocations is an important part of a well-rounded investment portfolio. Let's continue this conversation at thebonsongroup.com.